and welcome to the vlog. Today is one of those days. I kind of just want to sit in bed all day. I oh, know that's only my depression talking. It's kicking my butt a bit today. I've, I've actually been doing really well recently. Things have been going a whole lot better. And, oh, just hit the camera at the door. It's been great, but, oh. I've woken up this morning with that big black cloud hanging over me. You know, nothing's changed. Everything's the same as it was yesterday. And yet, it's just there. And I just feel helpless and lost. And one of the worst things about it is I feel like I should be happy. I feel like I should be happy because nothing's changed. So that makes me feel worse because I'm not happy and I should be. Mental illness sucks, man. And I think that's one of the hardest things to explain to anyone who, who doesn't suffer from mental illnesses. That you, you can actually know what's going on. You can understand what's happening. Why you're feeling the way you're feeling and exactly how you're feeling. But it doesn't help. Oftentimes it just it makes you feel worse. And when people give me advice like, oh yeah, you know, you just need to look at the bright side, you just need to go outside more, go and do some exercise, something like that. Well, that's really good. And yeah, it is stuff that makes you feel better and helps in life. But mental illness doesn't work like that. It's not a case of if you do these things, it won't affect you. It's still there. It's like having a flu and taking some paracetamol, like yeah, it'll make you feel better for five minutes, but the flu's still there. You're still gonna be snotty, you're still gonna be coughing. It's so hard to explain these feelings. This is why I do this, so I can talk out loud and try and make sense of them, because honestly, it, it doesn't even make sense to me, and I'm, I'm completely aware of what's going on with me, but you know, it doesn't, doesn't change it, it doesn't change how I feel. Today I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm broken, I'm lost, I'm hurting, and they like say nothing's changed to do this. Everything's the same as it was yesterday. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm out and about, which honestly is hard. With depression, doing simple tasks can become impossible tasks. Things like having a shower, going down to the shops, getting dressed, making a phone call, things like that can actually seem like the most impossible thing you could ever do. And you know, you have to do these things. So I've forced myself out of bed and out of the house today because I know if I stay in bed all day, it'll feel good for me at the time, but then by the end of the day, I'll feel like a waste of the day because I've just slept all day. And I've, I've forced myself to get out and about. It's not helping right now. But I'm hoping by the end of the today, we'll be starting to feel a little bit better. I'm going to go and do some wholesome things, some things that fill up my bucket and make me feel better about life. And I'm going to see how that works out for me. today is come visit my friend Natalie who has a pet wild magpie. <laughs> it does an amazing ambulance impersonation. <laughs> this is Glenda, the crazy ambulance magpie. Say hi, I'm a jerk. Oh, don't bite. And a bitey magpie. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It's a wild magpie. She was raised as a, what do you call them? A fledgling, a baby know. bird. A she was a, <laughs> as a baby bird <laughs> raised by hand, but then released out into the wild. And so she does all the things wild birds do, but then comes down here for food and to peck people. To sing at me and yeah, peck my eyeballs out. Besties. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I really want to pat her, but I think mm, she'll bite me. No, she'll definitely bite you. <laughs> Even while she's eating? 
Yeah, you can try touching a tummy, but I mean, she bites me sometimes, so you know. Nah, she's just, it's all about the worms. <laughs> nope, no <laughs> pants for Glenn. No. So it turns out I was actually tired too. Um, yeah, I, I sat down on the couch before I went out this afternoon and woke up three hours later. So it turns out I was actually tired, so it wasn't just depression and wanting to keep me in bed all day. Although it is the depression that's making me tired at the moment. I don't know if you understand how tiring and exhausting it is to fight your own brain every day. Um, a lot of people see someone that's depressed and spending a lot of time in bed sleeping more and not going out much and not doing things and they go well you should be going out doing stuff you, you physically can't you're exhausted all of your energy is going into here trying to fight those bad thoughts those unhealthy thoughts and those bad patterns your own brain is fighting against you it's not a nice feeling it is absolutely exhausting if you do see someone you know struggling, don't judge them. You know, just try and be there for them. Just try and understand what they are going through. If you're going through this, you're not alone. You know, there's there's a lot of people everywhere, every day, that's fighting just to get through one day. And I feel you, man. I know how hard it is. It's like anything, some days it's just one day at a time. We just do the best we can and we get through. I got to admit, hanging out with the magpie this afternoon, Glenda, that definitely cheered me up a lot though. There is something magic about nature. But yeah, definitely asleep helped as well. I'm really glad now it's the end of the day. I'm just sitting in the car watching the sun go down. And I'm really glad that I made the effort to get up and leave the house today because I would have missed out on some cool stuff if I had a stayed in bed. It worked out well because I got to sleep as well. But I didn't spend the whole day in bed, so I don't have to feel bad about that. Anyway, I think that's enough rambling from me today. Oh, subscribers! I made it over 200. That's amazing. I was over the moon when I got to 50, and now I'm at 200. It's just... Oh, it's the best feeling. It's so good to know you guys have all got my back. And there's people out there that are watching these videos, send me messages, leave comments and that. And it's amazing. It's amazing. And I hope that I can help you in your journey with my mistakes. It just helps me because it makes me feel like if I can help someone else with all my mistakes and what I'm going through, then what I'm going through isn't for nothing. There's a reason for some of it. And yeah, that's, that's basically why I keep doing this. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for getting me over 200. I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Don't wake me up.